In this part 5 of the entire system.io tutorial, I'm going to share with you guys how exactly to conduct email marketing broadcasts within system.io. If you have yet to visit the first four parts of the entire video tutorials, you can refer to the links in the description box below this video. In order to conduct email marketing broadcasts within system.io, there are a few steps you need to do. First and foremost, head over to context and click on text. So from here, you're going to create a tag and give the tag a name, like for example, um, YouTube videos leads. All right, click on save. What does tag actually mean within system.io? If you are familiar with using email autoresponders like Aweber Get Response, you will notice that they have this thing called a list. So within system.io, you can view text as something like a list. So the next thing you need to do is to head over to funnels. Based on the squeeze page funnel that we have created in the previous tutorials, I'm going to click on this. So this is the squeeze page itself. Click on automation rules. Scroll down, click on add rule. Click on final step form subscribe. All right, then subsequently click again on this box. Add an action. Add a tag. So over here you can choose a tag. And we are going to choose this one that we have just created. All right, and then hit on save rule. This entire process means anybody who opted into the squeeze page will automatically assign a tag called YouTube video leads within system.io. So what I mentioned just now, similar to other email autoresponders, you can view it as this leads has been collected within the list. Now that you have created this tag, the next thing is head over to emails and click on newsletters. Click on create. So I'm going to put a subject line here, video tutorial, sender's name. So over here, you can choose the visual editor whereby you have two options to go for or the classic editor version, All right? So usually I'll go for the visual editor, select template, click on save. So now click on video tutorial, click anywhere within this box to open up this template itself. All right, I'm not going to use all this. I'm just going to delete them away. The same thing for this one, delete them away. All right, this is not my name itself. Delete that away. Delete that away. All right, the way to do it is just to hover your mouse over to the particular element and hit the dustbin itself. Okay, connect the Instagram. I don't need that. All right, so let's say this is the entire email that you're trying to draft. Highlight the entire thing to delete it away or straight away type from there. Like for example, hi there. This is Benjamin here. Click here to access bonus. Okay, Shelly, Benjamin. Now, let's say, for example, if this is the link that you wish to insert into your email to send to your relevant leads, so I'll highlight this entire portion, bold it, and this is where you're going to click on the link. So type in here, google.com, all right, then hit on this save button. So this link has already been created. Click on save changes, exit. Now on the right, you can see that there are things that you can put down here, like for example, inserting an attachment, or you can send emails only to contacts who have registered over how many days ago. Now including this text and exclude this text. This is where it's very important that you must choose the correct text itself. So for my case, I'll include the text that is over here. All right, so you can see that this text has been included. Over here, these are all the available personalization substitutes that you can choose as well. Like for example, if you wish to include their first name, all you have to do is to copy this entire portion here. Control C. All right, then paste it over here itself. But in order to do some form of amendments, you've got to click over here again. Now go back there. So instead of hi there, you can put down there, hi first name. Save again, exit. All right, make sure that the tag is still there. If it's not, remember to select it again. Then subsequently, you can hit on save and send, or you can save and test to your own email, or you can also save and schedule it to be sent on a later time or a later date itself. Now, I'm not going to send this particular email because there's no list inside this test account. 
just going to exit this entire portion. So this is a demonstration of how exactly you conduct email broadcasts within System.io. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about the challenges of using System.io for purely email marketing purpose. See you there.